Schwantek calls for changes to the tennis calendar. And tonight's big match at the Cincinnati Open, the break, it starts right now. What's up guys, Aaron Coscarelli here. You are watching the break now. We all know that tennis is unique. It is the only sport with a season that is 11 months long and travels pretty much all over the globe. You throw in an Olympic event to an already very tight schedule and things start to get super tough for the players. Iga Schwantek had a successful time in Paris. She won Poland's first ever tennis medal at the games. However, the world number one has been very vocal in calling for a change to allow players to rest in between tournaments. Now, Schwantek did lose her semifinal match against Arena Sabalenka Sunday, but Iga has been talking about this issue all week long in Cincy. She told her very own Prakash Armitage just how tough things can get when you're constantly on the road. It's tough on everybody. Our schedule is crazy and everybody knows that. Um, and it's getting even more crazy, so uh, good luck to us. Um, yeah, I mean, sometimes I just feel like I'm this, you know, hamster in this wheel, just running, running towards every, like, next tournament, next tournament. Yeah, you don't have much time to, uh, to reset. Yeah, this is tennis life, and I just hope uh, they're not going to be too hard on us uh, in the future, even though we know that last year rules changed a little bit. We have more mandatory tournaments. Um, but, you know, I guess the most important thing is going to plan wisely, and that's it. Yeah, that's some pretty strong stuff from arguably one of the most talented women to ever play the game. So what do you think? Should there be changes? As always, let us know below. All right, with that, let's get to tonight's action in the Queen City as Frances Tiafo goes up against Olga Runa for a spot in Monday's final. Francis has definitely found his mojo this summer. He reached the semifinals at his hometown event in D.C. recently, but he will need to be at his very best tonight in his first tour level meeting with the Dane. Runa, on the other hand, is no stranger to success at the Masters, having of course lifted the trophy in Paris two years ago and reached the finals in Monte Carlo and Rome last spring. I do expect this one to be a big hitting blockbuster. All right, well, that'll do it for us here today. Don't forget, you can watch all the action from Championship Monday in Cincinnati live on Tennis Channel from 1 p.m. Eastern. We'll see you tomorrow.